All right, friends, good morning. It's Saturday, I'm about to work out. We have to talk about SmackDown. So, overall, it was a decent show. I mean, I think one, we were all waiting for Roman to come out. Like, that was the thing everyone was waiting for. I wasn't sure if they were actually, he was going to do a promo. I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I think like everyone else in the world, that's what I was waiting for. Uh, we started the night with Cody. Great promo. Uh, liked the whole thing with him and Solo. Like this little edgier Cody we're getting. Um, however, the whole idea of him and Kevin at Fashion Berlin just falls so flat to me. I mean, I think we're seeing why maybe not having that title up every single PLE is a good thing because... I mean, we're kind of in limbo, right, of him facing Roman for a while until the Bloodline storyline is done. And there isn't a huge nother heel, I think, right now that he could go against. So, I don't know. I'm just really not in love with this idea. I will see what happens. Maybe. I, I just don't get where we go from there. Like, I just don't. So, I'm a little confused on that. Um... The whole thing with Jay Cargill and um, Alba Fire and the, those all mixing up. I like that. I also like that reintroducing Naomi to it. So I think you might have some really cool three-person tag matches coming in there. Again, you know, moving Jay forward with still allowing her to learn more in the ring and hide some of her um, areas of growth that are needed, like everyone. Um... The U.S. champion, uh, you know, like, great moment for L.A., so excited for him. Uh, you know, curious to see what's going to happen next between him and Andrade, not Andrade, Andrade lost, but, you know what I mean, like, that whole, how are they going to build that, how are they going to make that into something? Um, because I think what we saw at SummerSlam, except for the Bloodline, and Rhea Ripley's match was there's a lot of like ending of things, right? Like we knew Gunther and Damian wasn't going to be a thing anytime soon. We knew that like Logan Paul was going away and, you know, like, so there's not much, a lot of rematches set up because of that. It's a lot of like new things, which sometimes I think can be hard and Fashion Berlin is not a major PLE. The next major PLE we all know is going to be Survivor Series. So we're in this like weird limbo phase where they need to build up some new storylines. And that's okay. Um, I just don't see where some of these are going, quite honestly. Uh, the tag team match. Thought the it will be interesting next week to see who wins there. I mean, uh, I, I like DIY. I just don't see them getting the titles again I don't see anyone honestly getting those titles off the bloodline I think that's going to be part of this storyline moving forward um interesting if they reunite Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens to go after them maybe maybe I don't know um because I really don't know who else like who do you have who is the person who beats Jacob Fratu for the first time when they have created him into this monster um, of course, all of this was just like building, building, building to the moment we were all waiting for, which is Roman Reigns in the ring with Solo, dominating, taking everyone down. Um, very smart of them, again, because they built that, you know, Jacob got injured at SummerSlam. I've heard two different reports. I've heard it's a fake, it's a kayfabe injury. I've heard it's a real injury. I don't really care. The point being, he was not there to get hit, the crap kicked out of him by Roman Reigns, which is a good thing for his character long term. We all know I do love me some Jacob Fatu. Um, but like that, liked the back and forth. Um, do I think it's happening at Bash in Berlin? No. Is it happening at Bad Blood? Maybe. Maybe not. I mean, this is still Roman, right? Um, are they building all the way to Survivor Series for this? That's an interesting question, and I'll be curious about that. Uh, next week, we'll have uh, Nia Jax's 
triumphant title thing. We have not seen Bailey since SummerSlam. That was interesting to me. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's happening next. Um, I'm gonna go work out though. This is a super short review. There wasn't much like wow wow stuff happening in the episode, so I feel like that does. If you can think of something I'm missing, let me know. Something that you think is important. Or, um, what are they going to do with Chelsea Green, by the way? I mean, like, we all know I love me some Chelsea. It's going to be Chelsea and Tip. But, like, what's going on with my Chelsea? Sorry, had to sneeze. Yeah, so what's going on with my Chelsea? I will say her outfit backstage was adorbs. Adorbs, adorbs. Love to know where she got. All right, that really is all for me. I have to go get on the cardio machine. Um, for those of you who are keeping track, I leave for Vegas in seven days. I leave next Sunday. That's crazy to me. Um, my husband will be home. People are probably on the internet like, why are you saying when you're leaving your house? My husband will still be home. There will be other people in my house. Don't you worry. Um, but yeah, I can't believe how soon it's going to be. So... I'm going to go get on the treadmill so I can finish my story strong, just like Cody Rhodes did. And I'll see y'all back on Tuesday. So we don't have a PLE this week. So I'll see you back Tuesday morning to talk about what happened on Raw. And we all know what's going on with Mommy. Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. Yay. Okay. Bye.